Thanks again so much to Jacques and Pierre and Amos. Thank you very, very much. I've got a great, great pleasure now to introduce our next guest, Kelly Spooner, an artist based in London who is using theory and philosophers also as triggers to help her write and cast of arguing characters to help her perform. She produces plotless novellas, disjunctive, um, disjunctive theater plays, looping monologues, and also musical arrangements to stage the movement and behavior of speech. For tonight, Kelly Spooner is presenting a project called It's 1957, and the press release still isn't written, which took place on December the 2nd, 2011 to January the 20th, 2012 at WCW Gallery in Hamburg on the invitation of Hermes and Fau. So if Dominic Gonzalez Förster took us from 1962 to 2062, we are now in 1957. For this project, Kelly worked with Am Nudenda, a London-based project comprised of Adam Gibbons, Louis Ronald, and Jasper Liz Thompson. Am Nudenda is referred to as an artist-run project space, as a curatorial practice, and also a collaborative art practice. They have been making exhibitions and exhibited since 2008. Their recent projects include Session 18 Flatworks at Outpost Norwich, Session 20 Proposition at the ICA London, and Glaze Chez Valentin in Paris. It's 1957, and the press release still isn't written. It was comprised of 10-week Monday night reading group, a constellation of texts, an exhibition of newly produced work, and a live press release to explore the shift via Hannah Arendt of work to action and action to work. There's also a wonderful link there because the Serpentine we've organized this conference earlier on this year between Arden and Hannah Arendt uh, in collaboration with Homi Baba. Today's reading of It's 1957 and the press release still isn't written will be performed by Am Nudenda. A very warm welcome to them and to Kelly Spooner. Explanation part one. Thanks. And yes, this sounds really good. Causes for thought. I'd love to develop a project. Reconsiders. Show. Reconsiders. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of a piece. She's not sure. Which is really an event, which I'd really like to develop and stage. It sits somewhere between being an exhibition. She imagines an object. An object. She imagines an exhibition. And a performance. Possibly technically impossible. I'd be working with a cast of others. Outsourcing. Preferably in Hamburg. Art trip. In this case, the longer the project could stand, the better, as I'd like to develop stable elements which would continue after the performance or arrive before the performance as a curated structure for activity. Stop. But let me know. I tend to build around whatever frame I'm given. So time, space, dates, and then I can start working on this. Possible. Idea from there. It's 1957 and the press release still isn't written. This seems good. It's as far as we get. And so we start again in a space of perpetual starts. This seems like a start to the action. And so we start somewhere in Hyde Park on the 22nd of August, where it's 2011 and speaking is in decline. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Are you quoting? Not exactly. Did you outsource? Absolutely. And remind me why this is OK. It's OK, Lewis, because I'm trying to carry some others. Otters? No, that was and still is a typo. OK. Some others. Well, thanks. My pleasure. It's all from the book. You sound like a priest, and there's nothing worse than a moralist. Explanation part two. The human condition indicates book charts the shift from solitary <coughs> contemplation a solo event to the life of action not solo while considering the key attributes of our condition as labour, work and action. <coughs> Arendt was writing at the time of massive technical progress and advancements and a decline in simple human-to-human -human speaking. Because it's 1957... 1958... Sputnik launched. Space travel pending. Post-telescope. Please explain. Post-confidence knock. Please expand. Post-Hiroshima. And the first tu test tube baby is nearly being born. Please fact check. The book is an appeal for us to honestly ask ourselves, what are we trying to do? Edit line break stop. The thing I'm hoping to consider in this particular case 
is the symbiosis between work italicized and action emphasize somehow finding a way to perform this shift from one state tries to indicate action to another indicates the work it's 1951 and ontology is fundamental this seems possible but only if we find out what ontology is and the thing is we just don't know after some time looking, we realise it has something to do with thinking and ethics. And this seems good, particularly as there's four of us and we'll have to deal with the ethics of dealing with each other for approximately ten weeks, give or take breaks for holidays. This, says Levinus, is something like a negotiation and it's impossible to negotiate with something that doesn't have a face. This is because you wouldn't know whether they were really listening or whether they'd fallen asleep. Uh. Equally, it's impossible to have discourse if we don't know who we're looking at, and it's impossible to think if we don't have the discourse, and because we can't think unless we can speak, so... So... Can we talk? Sure. Face to face? Sure. Specifically? Okay. Non-specifically? Okay. Widely? Right. Broadly? Right. Indirectly? Please stop talking. <laughs> Explanation part three. In short, action is a fragile event-based activity generated from speaking and discourse she or she pauses, politics delete work is the activity we undertake to produce the tools and objects that help us to labor but Arendt also considers the possibility of work indicates work the product of work indicates exhibition as aids to document indirectly represent records or acknowledge action she's guessing I'm interested in working out how through speculating an extended period of conversation and discussion on action it might be possible to generate some tangible manifestations. Please simplify. Which might in some way act as documentation. New work. Of action. And I guess it's this documentation that I'd like to bring. Revise. Make. Revise. Or perform. Where? In Hamburg. It's 1934 and individualism <laughs> arrived in the group. This seems rather terrifying because there's mu nothing much less manageable than a man without ethics. I'm reminded that's not really the problem because being an individual doesn't mean you don't have ethics and besides, no one here much likes a moralist, especially not, let's say, in Paris where it's 1934 and the painters are lined up on the backs banks of the Seine waiting to make some exponentially uninteresting art. Simultaneously, Henry Miller is getting busy. You mean? No, not like that. Well, a bit like that. <laughs> well, maybe. He's a virile young man. I'm not denying this, but I'm just trying to say he was active, which is good. I appreciate this is good, though rather lonely. He's never lonely. He's busy being. Being. What? Just being. A writer. But this would make him no better than the painters, because it seems extremely important to be active primarily and a writer secondarily, and there's really nothing very active about painting the same on the banks of the Seine, when the Seine is right there in front of you. Instead, it's perhaps better to feed off the world, which Henry Miller does. The bad news, it seems, is this is only possible in a state of extreme nomadic movement. The good news is you'll collide with others in public. Explanation part four. On Monday, I'm going to start... She hopes... ..about six weeks... Ten weeks... ..of discussion on labour, <coughs> work and action... Dot, dot, dot. ..with a project I sometimes work with here called Amnudendar. www.amnudendar.com There's three of them. Adam... Indicates Adam... Lewis... Indicates Lewis... ..and Jesper. We were going to find the space and time to do some speaking on Arendt's concept of action... Dot, dot, dot. ..try and work out what it is... Dot, dot, dot. I'm interested in seeing whether this conversation could somehow manifest itself physically as work... She's repeating... ..either as performance, an installation, an exhibition, an object... Repetition... ..or maybe all of this... Strictly speaking, not possible... ..in Hamburg... Strictly speaking, not Hamburg... The rudimentary idea is to shift from action... Conversation... ..to work... Indicates the work... And then maybe work... Indicates the work... Back to action... Conversation... But I'm not sure yet how this will happen... Dot, dot, dot... ..which I think is rather... Disorganised... ..nice... Practically, Pauses. this would mean we'd all need to be in Hamburg, which the budget would allow. Just. Because the main material, comma, as usual, comma, will be me. Slash. Us. What? People. Dot, dot, dot. It's 1913 and Proust has gone to bed. We decide this is, this is definitely a good response. Certainly the opposite of Miller, because you can't get less active than bed. Well... I'm told bed is good, a very important space for a man. And in the absence of outside action, we might have to embrace the beauty of form over experiential content because there's just not enough content inside in bed. And all form and no content in bed is definitely, most certainly, modernism. Are you sure? Well, I'm not sure because we've only read five pages, so it's impossible to say if he'll move. He'll move. He might not move. He'll move. He might not move. He's underperforming. I found it quite funny. 
Proust is not funny. I found it quite funny that a man can get stuck in his own narrative and make a text so impenetrable that only a like-minded man can read it, although apparently I'm wrong. Explanation part five. I think in this case I'm especially interested in how the conversations can transform into a collection of materials. She tries to explain. Structure. Already explained. An object. Again. Something. She thinks. Tangible. Stop. It's a morphogenesis of sorts from one state to another. Dot, dot, dot. I'd like the conversation to happen as a reading group. In the pub. As they already are. In the pub. And for them to somehow be documented or represented. Telesize. In public. Indicate nine works. As work. Right now, I imagine it might look like a curated show or an installation acting as props. No. Or markers. No. To aid a reading. Show. With some other related material. But these are all just thoughts relating to the conversation so far, which are going OK. Three delays due to holidays and illness. They're generating an interesting constellation of reading and ideas. And I guess, in some ways, the project is turning into an expanded reading group, where we speak through a number of different texts, which M. Nudendar suggests and bring. It's 1953, and the memoir we discover is tricky. It's never true, it's almost always false, and if you're in the business of truth and catching the evidence of action, it's best to avoid a memoir. Nonetheless, like everyone with something to say, it's necessary to record one's story, but in the absence of good memory and the tendency to overinflate ourselves inaccurately, a self pen memoir is thoroughly useless. This leaves us with a few options. The first strikes me as best. Let someone else carry your history. The second seems weird. Speak through your toys like Baudelaire, and wow, you know I really don't get this. We're dealing with history. We're speaking through objects. Catch up. Explanation part six. I really hope this makes sense, and I'm so sorry if it doesn't. We can change anything if it's confusing. Just let me know. But here's a first step for now. 18 lines deleted. In the months preceding the show at WCW Gallery, Kelly Spooner and Amnudendar will run a weekly... Almost weekly. ...reading group gathering text to generate an ongoing dialogue around the possibility and behaviour of action in an attempt to generate... She thinks. ...action. Simultaneously... Eight. Three. Nine. ...new works... Including a poll. ...will be conceived, developed and produced outside of the reading group, though not in isolation from its content. Apart from the poll. The members of Amnudendar will be working singularly... Apart from the poll. ...producing one new work by each of them... Plus a poll. ...which might act as the documentation of the group activities, while serving as individual work in and for itself. Except for the poll. The work may take any form. For instance, collections of found material... One film. ...an object. Two sculptures. ...an image. Five paintings. And... She says... ...so forth. Please don't bring the poll. It's 1955, and Blanchet has occupied the most desirable of positions by separating himself from his being. To me, this sounds painful. It's also rather difficult to speak about, because the complicated process inv involves negatives and negation, vacuums and voids, monochromes and grids and margins and gaps, big white spaces to bask in, which doesn't seem positive or active, and I'm certain this can't provoke action. In order for being, being must lack. It's the possibility of incompleteness. That's ambiguous. And that's what you want. Not on my own. You're really not on your own. I am if I can't speak, and I simply can't speak about Blonde I just don't understand. It's a space of isolation, confusion. It's hard. This is the point. Actually... Yes? I want to speak about the difference between something that gives you advice and something you're not meant to grasp. Really? Not really. So... I want to speak about the difference between a didactic space and a paradox. Really? No, not really. I want to talk about the difference between being told what to do and having to inhabit the world without reference, without structure, poetically, and finding yourself through that. Please leave that to Blanchot. It's best if you just explain. Explanation part seven. The new works will be installed and... She hopes. ...will be framed and contextualised by a live press release. She's making this up. Written at the very last moment. Predictably. By Callie Spooner. As a script which moves through reading. Quotes. Splices of conversation. And actually. Footnotes. Emails. Generated by the reading group. Not exactly. The script will be performed by Callie Spooner. Definitely. Possibly. Pre predictably. With Amnudendar. This is an attempt to expose the three new works relations between one another. Not through themes, form or curatorial logic but simply by reactivating the reading and the conversations it generated. Dramatic line break. And so... She starts... In short... She starts... The project is... Please don't repeat this again. A reading group in London generating the production of... Eight... Three... Nine... New works installed in Hamburg, framed and activated by a live press release written at the last possible live moment with conversations and reading from the reading group 
performed at an opening event by Kelly <coughs> Spina, who will effectively become the last minute live curator of eight Ten. weeks of Attempted. action. Please stop talking. It's 1999 and Frances Stark appears to be dealing with female responsibility towards the efforts of great men. This seems good. Thanks. Not you. Okay. It's mostly the big thinkers. You know the big ones. How to speak through them, support them so she can find her voice. And you know what? What? I think it works. Explanation part eight. I am so, so sorry for being extremely slow on titling. One month late. It's been really difficult to understand how to sum up the project without being... Disorganised. Didactic. Writer's block. And, of course, it got to the point where all the content we'd been reading started collapsing into the title. Bad management. And then there were four of us to decide things with. Outsource blame. And just in general, it's been one of the hardest projects to title. Exclamation. I guess the thing I wanted most was to sum up this idea of something in progress as action always is, so... Dot, dot, dot. Not yet made. Dot, dot, dot. But starting from a given, so... A rent's human condition, followed by a number of unknowns... Others. ...that would arrive through the reading and conversation that Am Nudendar bring to the group. This title is actually the first line of the press release... Obviously. ...which I'm starting to write now. Badly. And eventually I'll finish it just in time for its delivery... We know. ...at the opening in Hamburg. We know. The press release will be quite long, I think. Please edit. Though quite... Confusing. ...fragmentary. A scramble across dates, texts we read, and conversation. She starts. An attempt to communicate this concept of conversation. Please start. As action. Please just start. Documented through Amnudendar's new work, which I am documenting through this press release. It's 1957 and the press release still isn't written. This seems good. It's as far as we get, and so we start again. In a space of perpetual starts, this seems like a start to the action. And so we start somewhere in Hyde Park on the 22nd of August, where it's 2011 and speaking is in decline. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Are you quoting? Not exactly. Did you outsource? Absolutely. And remind us why this is okay? 